Textile finishing is a crucial process that adds the final touches to fabrics, enhancing their appearance, texture, and overall quality. Among the various machines used in this process, compacting machine plays a key role in achieving the desired fabric characteristics. A compactor machine is a textile magician. It compresses fabrics under controlled pressure and heat, ensuring they maintain their width, stability, and desired properties. Generally, two types compactor machine are used in textile mill. First, we have the tubular compactor machine. This machine is designed to handle tubular knit fabrics, ensuring they are compacted uniformly. Next, we have the open width compactor machine. This machine is designed for fabrics that need to be processed in an open width form. It's ideal for both knit and woven fabrics and ensures even compaction across the entire width of the material. Functions of a compactor machine. The compactor machine controls the width of the fabric. It ensures the fabric meets the required GSM. The machine maintains dimensional stability and reduces spirality. It governs the loop structure of knit fabric. The compactor conducts ironing operations to smooth the fabric. It addresses protruding fibers on the fabric surface. The machine modifies the fabric's hand feel. It helps in controlling the shade of the fabric. Now, let's delve into the working procedure of compactor machine. This innovative machine utilizes a combination of rollers, pressure, and heat settings to compress and smooth out the fabric. Step 1. Fabric Loading and Centering Fabrics in the open width form are loaded onto the machine. The machine's feeding frame and centering device ensure the fabric is accurately positioned and centered for uniform treatment. The machine generally consists of a feeding frame with the centering device and driven scroll rollers, an equalizing stenter frame with an overfeed roller and brush pinning arrangement. Step 2. Moistening and Steaming An infrared, IR infeed device and a stainless steel steaming unit uniformly moisten the fabric to prepare it for compaction. The steaming device's sliding shutters control steam flow according to the fabric's width. Step 3. Drying and Edge Treatment A low contact gluing and drying unit with an SS trough treats fabric edges to ensure they're properly dried and treated. IR emitters dry the selv edges, enhancing the overall fabric quality. Step 4. Compacting Unit The compacting unit includes felt units, rollers, and a cooling system. Two felt compacting units press the fabric between Nomex felt and steam-heated chrome-plated rollers, controlling compressive shrinkage. A fabric cooling roller with chilled water circulation helps cool the fabric after compaction. Step 5. Tension control and monitoring. Sensitive load cells and variable frequency drives, along with a programmable logic controller and touchscreen, ensure precise fabric tension control throughout the machine. This monitoring system maintains consistency and quality in the treated fabric. Step 6. Final treatment and width adjustment. Edge dryers, self edge trimmers, and a width adjustment device finalize the fabric treatment. These elements contribute to the fabric's stability and dimensions, ensuring it meets the desired specifications. After the completion of the compacting process, the fabric's shade and GSM are checked to ensure they meet the desired specifications. By following these steps meticulously, the open width compacting machine delivers fabrics with improved dimensional stability, reduced shrinkage, and a desirable soft feel, meeting the high quality standards required in the textile industry. Use of compactor machine. The compactor machine processes various types of fabrics. Single jersey, peak, plain interlock, fleece, terry, mini jacquard, and polyester. In summary, the use of a compaction machine in textile finishing offers a myriad of benefits. It helps in achieving consistent and high-quality results, improves the overall texture and appearance of the fabric, and enhances the final product.